Beyond skills and knowledge, if you want to know if a person is the best fit for an open position, you're maximizing your chances of getting it right the first time if you utilize the data provided by the Personality Plus and Team Master assessments to compare a person to the behavioral demands of the job as well as the person they will be working for. Let's explore the behavioral traits measured by the Personality Plus assessment and we can talk about how to use that data to make better decisions faster in follow-up videos. There are no right or wrong answers to the questionnaire and everyone possesses the 10 traits it measures in varying degrees and they're reflected on a scale from 1 through 12. Let's discuss them. For someone who rates as a 1 for the trait of organization, it's likely that their desk will resemble a trash pile. But somehow they can still find things. If they rate a 12, then rest assured, everything has its place and they probably have lists of lists. A person rating low on sensitivity can come off as cold, aloof, and uncaring. Conversely, People rating high for this trait have emotional fluctuations often and are usually aware of how others feel. They find it difficult to handle criticism or rejection. Individuals with a low degree of imagination find it difficult to grasp abstract or non-tangible ideas but follow clearly defined instructions extremely well. Expect visionary, creative, big-picture thinking from those who possess high degrees of imagination. Expect individuals with low flexibility to be rigid in their approach to their objectives. If their objective is to get the other side of the wall, going over or around it is unthinkable to a person with low flexibility. A person with high flexibility, however, will take any detour necessary to find the other side. Expect individuals who rate low on recognition to prefer a regular salary in a stable work environment. Expect risk aversion and preferences for routine. Contrast that with people who rate higher on recognition who demonstrate desire for compensation that reflects their performance and willingness to take risks to reach their goals. You can expect individuals with low levels of tension to prefer a fixed position in a protected environment. They may seem slow to react, but they're capable of handling extreme pressure well when necessary. Contrast that with others who prefer frequent movement in an unrestricted atmosphere and possess the, a strong sense of urgency. Those people are higher on tension. Probing level reflects the level of trust placed in what others say and do. Expect individuals rating low on probing to accept others for what they are and what they say, perhaps to the point of being gullible or even taken advantage of. Expect individuals rating high to question on or probe for hidden meanings. They aren't likely to accept new ideas at face value. Simply put, probing level indicates if they are likely to believe whatever they're told or do they dig deeper to find the truth. Social need explores someone's need to interact with others. Individuals rating low are introverted. Individuals rating high are extroverts. It's pretty straightforward. Expect individuals rating low on assertiveness to be submissive and willing to let others dominate them to avoid confrontation. Like a speed bump, they may let people run over them, but they're unlikely to make waves. Conversely, those who rate high are most likely to try and dominate every situation. Finally, when it comes to competitiveness, you can expect people who rate low to value friendship above a personal need to compete 
and excel. They're the kinds of folks who are content with a participation ribbon. Individuals who rate high on competitiveness are constantly filling the need to meet challenges and overcome and be number one. They're oriented to win in all situations. 